So first things first, as I always have and I always will, I will rave about their packaging. I absolutely love anything pink firstly. Secondly, just the entire packaging is so awesome. It's so great. You know that your stuff is safe and secure in this box. So let's get into the contents of the box. First, they've included a dust bag in the box for you to keep your wig. Then there's a mini dust bag inside that dust bag. They've included two HD wig caps, a lace melting band, a packet of stick on nails, they look the same as these ones. They've included these two cute ribbons for styling. I absolutely love this. This, this is so girly. And now to the details of the hair. They've sent me their 24 inches water wave wig. This is a 7 by 5 lace frontal. And it is advertised as Bye Bye Knobs. So let's get into how it looks inside. Okay, so the texture is quite soft straight out the box. This is how the hair looks. That's how the hair looks. It's very soft. It's a very soft texture. As I mentioned, it's advertised as bye bye knots. So as you can see, there's absolutely no knots inside. This is a clueless wig or kind of wig. So you don't have to do any gluing to secure it down. This is how it looks. It comes pre bleached, pre plucked. The lace comes pre cut. And as I mentioned, it's bye bye knots. So you see with the bleaching, you can't really detect the knots. And can you see on my skin, it, it, it's already blending in. I don't know if you can see that. Just want to show you this quickly here. Let me show you on the side of the hand. Can you see how it's just blending into my skin already? And I haven't even installed it. I haven't even tried to color the lace to try and blend it into my skin. But as you can see, there's no knots in sight. And it's already blending into my skin quite well. I absolutely love that. It also comes with this adjustable strap over here. So you can better secure the wig at the back. So it is nice and snug and it doesn't fall off of your head. Then there's also this comb here at the bottom that you can also secure right at the back. Just where you've put on your wig cap, you can just secure the wig at the back. This is also optional. You can choose not to put the comb on or secure the wig with the comb. Just as long as you've adjusted this according to your head size, then you should be fine. So what I usually like to do, because like I mentioned, the lace comes pre-bleached. I also want to go in with my contour powder to better match it with my own skin tone so that it seamlessly blends in and it just gives that natural finish. So we're going to get into that. Okay, so I left the bend on for 10 minutes. We're now going to take it off. And here's how the hair looks. I think the hairline is so natural. Is this hair glued on? Is it growing out of my scalp? I need us to talk about that. Let's decipher. Do I have glue on? I think not. Completely glueless. I love how it blended so naturally into my skin after I put on my contour powder and I put on some mousse. Then I put on the lace melt band. After that, it was voila, it's giving natural. Here we are, very much clueless. So for all my work, go girlies. If you're wondering, oh my gosh, how am I going to be able to manage this hair for myself? You can just put it on and call it a day. Obviously, I haven't done much to the hair itself. I just wanted to show you a realistic install. If you just put on the hair, put on a little bit of mousse, put on a little bit of wax stick, take your hot comb, just flatten it out, then put on your melting band. Just a realistic way and go. That's exactly what I wanted to show you. But you know me, I like to turn it up a little bit. So I'm just going to... Do a little bit of styling to the hair. I'm going to obviously add my baby hairs and see what other hairstyles can we play around with this hair with. But I absolutely love the fact that it's such an easy install. I don't necessarily have to do much. 
and i always tell you guys i don't really like watering my hair lately i just like the big poofiness of it all so i'm just gonna see if i'm gonna water down this one but i feel like i like how poofy it is and it still maintained its volume as well i don't want admin i want to put on a wig just do the little simple steps that i did keep it pushing okay but without rambling too much let's get into the styling of it all done you guys absolutely love this unit do you know how you can tell that i love this unit because i went on and i did a hairstyle with it usually i just leave the hair as it is but i went on and i did a hairstyle with it i did put on some water on the hair but it dried up quite quickly so we didn't really get to define the curls like that like that but the hair did go through some water it maintained the same pattern and i absolutely love that this is the hair with water i just wanted to show you guys the final look like i always say i don't like to drench my curls in water i like that poofy look that we had just now but i know when it dries up we're gonna go back to that poofy look but just to show you how the hair looks completely when it is wet this is the wet look this is not dry this is wet i absolutely love it i love that it was so easy for me to also do this hairstyle remember the closure is a seven by five closure i've been meaning to try this hairstyle on hair and i just didn't know which unit this unit just made so much sense for me to try it with and i'm glad it worked out because this hair is gorgeous it's very soft the hair is very very soft and i love the natural finish of this unit remember this is 180 percent density it takes heat quite well well because i did use my hot comb to flatten this part out and also to just flatten this part out so the hair does take heat quite well i could say though that you guys could do better when it comes to the density of the hair i feel like they could add more tracks on the unit just so that it's fuller so that when you do a hairstyle like this one this part is more fuller do you get what i'm saying but i still can't take anything away from it the hair is quite good there's minimum shedding this is the shedding that has come off from the comb that i was using to comb out the hair there's obviously hair on the ground as well but it's not that much which is quite usual because this is at the end of the day hair and it is curly hair and i did comb it out because i just wanted to see how it looks when it's nice big and full so i'm happy with that remember that i'm going to leave all the details to this unit in my description box down below you can also check out your 
really nice on all their social media platforms. I'm also going to leave a direct link to this unit in my description box. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. We've come to the end of the review. Before you go, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload an awesome video like this one. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.